This will come as no surprise, but we tend to like to do the things that feel good to us and avoid the things that don't feel good to us. And we learn the hard way what those things are. Once we find something that feels good, we want to repeat it over and over. This is exactly how we make the habits that we do. For the ones that we think are bad habits and want to break, they tend to feel good, which is the reason why we repeat them over and over. And the stuff that seems so painful and we don't want to do tends not to feel as good, at least not right away. Now, we are wired for pleasure. As slightly perverted as that sounds, this is exactly how we are made. And instead of fighting it, which I definitely have, it's actually easiest for us to just go with what's already natural for us and do more of what we actually want to do, which is be rewarded for the things that feel good. Now, if you're thinking, okay, I see what you're trying to do, you're absolutely right. If we take this idea that if we do something and it feels good, we're going to do it more often, we can apply this to get ourselves to do more of the things that we're actually wanting to do by finding ways to reward ourselves. So there's two things I'm going to leave you with that might help you figure out how you can go about getting a little bit more of the stuff done that you're trying to get done and try to break away from things that you don't want. The first thing is the rewards need to come often and they need to be small. As I said, participation trophies, this kind of is what it sounds like. Even though you haven't done a lot of work, it is important to reward yourself if possible right after you're done completing your activity or your habit so that it gets cemented into your brain that every time I do this, I get some kind of a reward. Smaller rewards along the way actually keep you a lot more motivated to put in work versus waiting and putting off a really big reward for later. This is proven. If you think about, let's say, working an entire month or two or three months and not getting paid, you're not going to be as excited about working. But if you know there's going to be a paycheck or some kind of a little bonus coming more often, you're going to be a lot more enticed to work. So smaller rewards along the way are going to be a lot more helpful in keeping that habit reinforced versus trying to put off something big for later. The second one is not only do we get excited about receiving a reward when we know a reward is coming and we know that we're going to like it, we actually get really excited about the anticipation of the reward, which means we get excited even before the reward even shows up, which again, we can use this to our advantage. Instead of um, putting off our rewards for too late, if we have something that's coming up fairly soon, but we have to wait for it a little bit, that anticipation also creates motivation for us to put in work. So you can do small, small little rewards along the way or play something that's a little bit bigger every once in a while in unpredictable ways along the way as well, just to like kind of spruce up your motivation and keep you working. Now you can also take this in the opposite way and say, okay, well, if I can reward myself with stuff I do well, what if I punish myself or withhold if I actually don't do the things that I wanted to do? You can try that. It doesn't always work the way that we want because kind of like nagging when someone is always on your back about doing the dishes or doing whatever, we tend to not be as interested in doing it when we're repeatedly getting punished for the things that we're not doing. Imagine if you went to work, worked, didn't receive a paycheck, and then your boss thought that that's gonna motivate you to work harder. Probably not. You're gonna be a lot more motivated to work if there is bonuses, if there are raises, if there's something to incentivize you for working harder, not punishing you for the things that you haven't been able to do yet. So. From personal experience, I would suggest stay with the rewarding behavior more and maybe not so much with the punishing stuff. Um, let me know if you found this useful and let me know how you reward yourself with the good behaviors that you have. Now, if you like this video, like and subscribe and I'll be tuning in with you for next time.